I come from the design and construction field, integrating uh, the latest technology uh, to improve and transform our design and construction industry. And I have to remind you all that designers and builders think in 3D. But traditionally, uh, for the last two centuries, uh, their communication was in two dimensions. Uh, on the other hand, these are very exciting times as immersive VR has given us back the third dimension uh, to communicate with our teammates, with the client, with the city, with all the stakeholders um, in the neighborhoods where we build. So for today, uh, let's really look at two questions. What makes VR so powerful and how can VR transform collaboration? And to address these questions, so let's start with the first one. I, I want to emphasize that people, their activities and the artifacts that they create together are central to our integrated R&D and education strategy in the PBL lab. So here are some indicators that we have used and some that we have developed uh, through our studies in the PBL lab. So first of all, looking at people, place, and artifacts with a focus on interaction experience, we talk about what we call the gold standard, uh, defining five dimensions for interaction. Uh, on one hand, everyone by now knows video conferencing and the typical scenario is what we are doing now. We hear, see and share content. And of course, we are in a virtual world so we can turn around and see other people rather than look at talking heads in a grid on screen. Uh, and some really know how to use video conference to co-create not just share uh, PowerPoint slides or documents. What VR really brings is the co-presence spatially and socially, the, this 100% focus. And the uh, other aspect I want to bring today to our discussion is people activity and process where we look at three dimensions proposed by researchers in psychology where they define the relationship closeness inventory, focusing on frequency of interaction depending on different channels that are available uh, beyond meeting in person. Uh, diversity, looking at all different uh, dimensions of diversity, people, geolocation, and most importantly, types of activities, work and play uh, and socialization. Uh, is the social environment embedded in the work environment in technology platforms? And the third, strengths looking at how the technology allows me to communicate my design intent to other team members to influence their proposals and actually impact, uh, in our case, the joint decision making. I will encourage you to think about how uh, this immersive experience allows us, for instance, uh, to revisit how great it is to be together. And of course, it is true co-located interaction creates energy and, and emotions and, and rapid interaction experiences like you see here at 
our annual kickoff events at Stanford when all the partners come to Stanford for a team building uh, workshop for four days in, in really a great environment. The question is, um, can we replicate that? Uh, and uh, our experience and preliminary evidence in the global teamwork class that we've been studying for the last three years is that VR can. And here is a global team, kind of the typical scenario, three, four, five time zones, um, all the team members immersed in their uh, future buildings that they design and walk together through them and, and troubleshoot. Um, and then have subgroup meetings with a, a tremendous frequency almost uh, every other day to co-create and solve problems. And I, I want you to note here again, uh, you know, uh, th this, um, kind of coordinated parallel action to, to annotate and, and propose solutions uh, to executive project team uh, meetings and concept proposals and, and joint decision making to social connectedness. Uh, here it's a surprise birthday party where everybody actually got their virtual uh, cake slice. So very, very exciting. Remember the second question, how VR transforms collaboration. And what uh, I like to remind everyone, it, VR or any other technology has to be embedded in the daily work practice and process. So here is a snapshot of Team Atlantic that you just saw and um, kind of a week in a team member's life, uh, VR embedded and, and transformative. So our mission is to actually educate the next generation leaders and innovators and, and change agents 